What's up guys, Ivan here with GetIvan.com. In this video, I want to show you guys how to get your 4K webcam to display properly in high resolution. So this was a problem I was having. And uh, I was using an HD webcam for several years. And then a couple months ago, I bought a 4K webcam and I just assumed it would automatically, you know, work the way it's supposed to. But recently I started noticing that it was a bit fuzzy. And if we come in here to this preview, I'm using a different software to record this video right now so that I can show you the previews in OBS. Like it doesn't really matter, I don't think, what software you're, you know, well, it, it could affect your process of software you're using, but whatever you're using, you need to be able to, to make sure you know what the resolution's set to, you know. And uh, it, you know, th I'm doing this on Windows right now, but that you you could be doing this on just about any any kind of device, I'm pretty sure. And uh, I'm using a, a, a Logitech Brio 4K webcam, but this should apply to any kind of 4K webcam that you're using, you know, because you, you need to be able to have a way to set the resolution. So right now we're looking at the default setting inside of the video capture device for OBS. You can see device default under the settings. And I was looking through and it looks like this is closer to um, like 480p or something like that. So you can see it's really small. And if we blow this up, you see how fuzzy it is. Look, look at my right eye. So that's a, a good standard there. Um, because you see how fuzzy it is and it sh and should be glossy. So if we remove this device, let me close this because once, once, once I expand it, 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 uh, it gets real fussy. So let me re add it here into video capture and OBS studio and it'll pop it out again. Now, if I come over here to resolution type, when I click that settings icon and go to custom, then it lets me set a custom resolution here. If I set 640 by 480, then we get something pretty similar to what we were just looking at. This is a little bit different because you can see the colors are a little, a little, um, a little uh, darker, not so much saturation and contrast. So the default might be pulling from the Logitech software or something like that, or maybe just default detection settings inside the, the webcam. But the typical standard video format is 720p here. That's like the highest quality for the lowest uh, size and bandwidth expenditure. It's like the standard on YouTube, for example. And then HD is, is still kind of like, this is the higher quality standard that's out there. And you can already see there's a bit of a difference between those. Obviously, the default size has gone up, but you can see there's a difference already between some of the lower settings. And you're starting to be able to see my my imperfections here um at 2560 you know and upwards like so this this right here is is 2k resolution this is the default for my particular hp monitor and that's why it fits perfectly um and so the issue that i was having was i was coming into this right and it was capping out at 1080p and so then I just I realized that something is is prohibiting my webcam from being detected at high resolution. And I did some searches and I found a forum post which said that it has to do with the slot that you plug the webcam into on your computer. And so it has to be if you come down to your settings here on Windows under Bluetooth and other devices, we can see my webcam connected to USB 3.0. And so that that if that says 2.0, then the webcam will not render at resolution higher than 1080p. So you you could go and, and try to figure out, uh, find your motherboard specs. For me, I had that notated somewhere. And so I was able to see which slot is ideal. Like some of them are USB uh, 3.0 generation one. There was a couple that were generation two. So I made sure to put them into the better generation. And uh, you don't necessarily need to do that. If you if you wanted to, you could just plug it in one at a time until it detects something that's 3.0. And that's assuming that you have a computer made in the last you know several years. You might want to look up whenever USB 3.0 was standardized into motherboards and, and 
hopefully that'll get you where you need to be. Anyways, once I got it plugged into the right slot, then I got access to resolutions above HD 1080p. And so now I can get 2K resolution and then we can even jump up to 4K here. And it gets real, it gets real big. You can see there, if we look at my eye, you know, it, it gets pretty detailed. But of course, I'm sorry, I know I'm, I, I, I've got some uh, imperfections there. But uh, one thing you got to keep in mind about HD, or pardon me, uh, 4K resolution is it gets uh, really big in file size, really big in file size and bandwidth, you know, um, expenditure, depending on whether or not that's a variable for you. So it's not necessarily worthwhile to be in 4 uh, 4k unless you really need to be and so in, in my experience you know messing around with video resolution 2k is is a pretty good place to be like that renders on my monitor but if you wanted to go to 4k for example here in obs if you if you needed to make sure that that snapped you can come in here to right click in the video capture device and then select transform where is it transform right here then go to fit to screen and then boom, but you can, you'll notice that around the edges, there's a little bit of black bar. And so I guess 4k is, isn't quite compatible with my particular monitor. And so it's actually better to be at 2k. And you, you notice the color shift there. It, it, it gets softer when I go to a lower resolution. And when I bump up, watch, watch the details sort of pop out a little. Yeah, see, the details pop out a little bit. You don't necessarily want that. Like it's okay to have a little bit of softening, I think. So I'm, I'm kind of good at 2k at the moment. There's some other things that you can tinker around with, but that pretty much I mean, probably use hardware decoding when available because of the graphics card is going to be better. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys that trick for fixing, you know, um, make sure, making sure that your 4k webcam is going to render it, you know, higher quality. And then also tinkering around in OBS might help help you as well. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.